Oh man, today's episode's gonna be pretty sick. What's going on guys? So this is Erin, my river hunter spider. Now she's easily the fastest arachnid I have in my collection. Yeah, that is Did you so see quick. That? So I featured this girl on my channel a little bit, like some awesome feeds and stuff, because she's so quick. But I've never actually done a full episode on her, and I really want to because I've just found this species, and she's so cool, like her awesome designs. And I actually found this girl on a catch and keep episode. The spider. Oh, it's little though. What type is it? Yeah, that's a weird species. Like what? Do you see that? It's like red and then spots. Oh. There's like spots. And what I love so much about that style of video is, you know, you get to find those cool big Aussie spiders that I put in my thumbnails, but you also find those tiny little insects and spiders like this that you don't really know about and you take them home and study them and you can just learn so much more about the Australian wildlife. An abundance of wildlife in a beautiful world. Oh, and just a quick warning. Warning! Warning! This video has some insane footage. We put the macro lens so close up to Erin, it literally looks like the camera's in her mouth. So if you guys are eating or something, you know, you can add this video to a watch later. But for the rest of you guys, we're gonna be feeding her this roach. Okay, so the best part of feeding my spiders is of course the takedown. This is in real time, and then this angle's in slow motion, filmed at 120 frames a second. Cause I know you guys love it when I show both. Man, just look at how accurate the technique of the attack is. Both fangs just boom, straight into the neck. Which I reckon is probably the most vulnerable joint on the prey. It almost allows the spider to completely dominate and control the position. From here, she can lift him off the ground and pin the roach to the side of the enclosure where he has no leverage and nothing to grip onto. You can see the struggle is real. Okay, so this is with the macro lens at 21 times zoom. So we can actually see all the details and discover exactly what happens to the cockroach as it gets consumed. So yeah, the scientific name for this Australian river huntress is Venatrix arenarus. And it is from the same family as the wolf spider, the Lycosidae family. What a day, what a day. I've kept both wolf spiders and huntsmen, and I think that the river huntress has some of the exact same characteristics of both of these species. And like I said before, they are incredibly fast. They can cover two feet of ground in under a second. Same speed as a human running 100 meters in one second. So this insane foot speed is just like one of my wolf spiders chasing down its prey along the ground. And then to add to that a second ability to climb walls and see in all directions, that really reminds me of a huntsman. And it's also huntsman-like to take her food up to the side of the enclosure like that to eat it. Now she just has to hold the roach in place until the venom pumps through the body and paralysis takes over. And that's what she's waiting for. She'll just be patient and sense when the venom starts kicking in, which she'll know by the amount of movement because the roach will eventually stop struggling. All right, so it looks like the roach isn't moving very much anymore. And it's at this stage those fangs get put to work. They become like tiny little pickaxes, grinding the flesh and mashing it up into a juicy ball of meat. The petty palps act like giant salad spoons. They'll spin the prey around and keep it all together like it's in a bowl. All right guys, so from here on, it's not that pretty. We're gonna get in close to see exactly how a spider eats. And the way it works is just so fascinating to me. How the spider actually consumes the cockroach is by spitting digestive liquid onto the flesh as it's dug out from the shell. And here's what's the cool part. That flesh will start breaking down the instant the liquid touches it. And at the same time, the spider will suck the fluids back in, which is already turned into a soupy texture. So that's how spiders eat. Sounds yum, eh? And you can see it right there. 
talking about art. The shape of the roach is just so easily manipulated now, and you'll see it start to look more and more disgusting as it turns into a big slobbery ball. Man, look how much that juice is just flowing. Insane. Yeah, so this spit and swallowed method goes on for like two hours, and I think the internet has seen enough. So let's speed this up with a sweet little time lapse. I also love watching them when they're done, how they clean themselves really fast, it's so cute. Thanks so much for watching this episode featuring my River Huntress and I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek of what's to come with this series. Catch you in the next one. I'm serious about this stuff the night before, pressing garlic and dicing whole tomatoes. I toast my own ancho chilies. It's a recipe passed down from Malone's for generations. It's probably the thing I do best. <laughs>